It is difficult to surprise someone with an armored vehicle. Many businessmen, politicians and famous people use them. When it comes to military vehicles, US-made Hummers are the first thing that comes in mind. Today in the program, Made in Ukraine, we will tell you how the Ukrainian armored vehicle Kozak is made. The range of Kozak multifunctional technical vehicles features a modern Ukrainian design that combines a high degree of mobility and protection. As with most military developments, the Kozak also has its secret hidden from praying eyes. However, we can take a look at the most important stages in its assembly. The armored vehicle has a modular design. The motor module, crew capsule and anti-mine V-shaped bottom are put together as individual units. Due to the absence of stiff connections between the modules, the mine explosion energy that hits the motor module is not transferred to the crew capsule, which reduces the effect of the shock wave in general. But the entire process starts a bit sooner from receiving the main parts of the future vehicle, namely the chases and the armored steel. There are not many armored steel manufacturers in the world, for the Kozak, a special Finnish steel Nilux Protection 500 is used. That is a low steel of high solidity that has increased ductility properties and tensile strengths. Owing to these properties, the armor is solid but not brittle like cast iron. This makes it possible to stop bullets from deformation, though without cracks. An important characteristic of Nilux steel is that it practically does not create the so-called secondary debris. However, the flip side of the coin is that it's difficult to weld armored steel. So welding is carried out using a special method recommended by the armor manufacturer. It is also difficult to cut with forces the use of only plasma and laser cutting technology. Such metal is also difficult to bend because of its springy. The process of preparing the armored part begins. CNC plasma cutting is used to cut these parts. Sometimes the cutting leaves burst scars on the parts. Those also have to be cut so they fit each other better. Welding of the armored parts A framework for each module is created and the armored parts are welded together into housing. Armor is weaker in welding spots, so those places are covered with additional closing plates. The engine is covered with a special armored box. But the fenders and hood of the vehicle are not armored. That is done in order to reduce weight. Welds are cleaned from the filler metal after welding to give a clean and neat appearance and for convenient painting. The Kozak is a rather smart vehicle equipped with modern electronics. An important part in creating it is the installation of wiring. Special schemes have been developed for wiring. The engineers make tunnels for the wires depending on the kind of wires they are placed in those tunnels according to certain schemes. An automatic fire extinguishing system inside the cabin, an engine extinguishing system, an army radio, a GPS navigator, a DVR, a radiation survey device, a climate control unit and many more features are installed into the vehicle. It is therefore important to make everything according to relevant schemes and protect against interference. Seeing as this is a very complicated process, an entire department is responsible for it. The welded crew capsule is installed in the chases. The engine and the armor capsule are assembled together. Bulletproof glass of Ukrainian production is installed into the Kozak. Those are multi-layered windows that have a special PVB film. In addition to directing the connection of layers of glass, it also absorbs energy. 
When a bullet hits the glass, its energy dissipates when going through the layers and is absorbed by this film. On the inside, the glass has a layer that prevents it from crumbling inside the vehicle. Special frames where the glass is installed allow for fast replacement of the glass even out of the field. Seats for the fighters are individually customized and are fastened to the ceiling of the crew capsule to prevent direct contact with the bottom of the vehicle. This is done to further protect the crew in case the vehicle hits a mine. The floor itself has a multi-layer structure to stop fragments flying during mine explosions. The V-shaped bottom allows to divide and deflect the blast wave, reducing its impact on the vehicle's chases. Since the main objective of Cossack vehicles is combat and vehicle is equipped with a number of various weapons, those can be machine guns, grenade launchers, and even anti-tank systems. The rear and sides of the vehicle have battlements that allow fighters to fire personal automatic weapons. The Cossack is used to transport military units, wounded soldiers, fire support, patrolling, and reconnaissance. To date, the Cossack is the best armored vehicle made in Ukraine.